All right, thanks for staying with us. Winda, Georgia, observed the first Doctor's Day on March 30th, 1933. Dr. Charles B. Almond's wife, Eudora Brown Almond, wanted to have a day to honor physicians. Now the community mailed greeting cards and placed flowers on the graves of the diseased doctors on this first celebration in 1933. And the red um, carnation is commonly used as the symbolic flower for National Doctors' Day. These people, they are life savers. Mm -hmm. You can't overemphasize the importance of doctors, even though we still have a long way to go in terms of how we treat our doctors in Nigeria. Compensation. You understand the compensation? Yeah. The, I mean, we just have to do better. Mm. Um, you can't, people you should not joke with, teachers, doctors you know mm -hmm. um you shouldn't joke with them at all honestly and and, and our security personnel Absolutely. the police guys right you shouldn't joke with those kind of those those are so you know in other times those are prestigious jobs True. right not something that you look i mean go to the first day i saw police inside lamborghini in dubai i say hey wow <laughs> jonathan i god when <laughs> i want to be a police woman all of a sudden you know and they look so clean you know and all of that but it's almost like everything that is prestigious outside as a profession is almost like the opposite here you know so when you see people honor these people you would know i mean it's a no-brainer these guys actually save lives you know and they risk their own lives. See, Dr. Adadevo, you know, yeah. you know, they risk their own lives just to keep people alive, you know, okay. deprive themselves of sleep and everything. So the least you can do is at least even just show that you care. Mm. Their, their salaries, their pensions, whatever it is, make sure that, you know, it's attractive enough. Yeah. There used to be a time in this country where people turned down oil and gas jobs for teaching professions. Mm. Now it's the opposite now. Everybody's running towards, you know. So it's a very, you know, so happy National, National Doctors' Doctor Day. Day. And we're hoping that um, our government will continue to find ways to make the lives of our doctors better. The number of people that have left, doctors that we have lost. Mm. And Christine Gige will be saying his own somewhere. <laughs> Which is well. <laughs> All right, so who are we starting with? Let me start with um, Chinelo, I believe, right? Okay. All right, um, I think we have the video. If you can just pull up that video. Where, I mean, I saw this video and I was just laughing. It was funny, but at the same time, it was not even funny. And now this is now when you ask yourself, as a parent, where do you draw the line when a child is throwing tantrums? Because this is the height mm -hmm. of it. So this child walked into um, the way in his store and then I think he wanted something and his parents didn't get it for him or something and then he decided to throw a tantrum and cause a scene and then he climbed the TV area and was, you know, hitting or rather throwing all the TVs. Imagine those televisions that I'm sure those TVs cost one million naira, two million naira above. So in the name it's of the Nigeria, tantrums, sure. Nigeria in shop rights. Uh -uh. Yes. If only the TV doesn't cost one million, why are you throwing tantrums? Why? I want no, 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 but is it possible that he has a medical condition? That's what I was going to say. He's probably autistic. Mm. But even at that, there are ways to control autistic children. In the first place, before he got to that point, I'm sure he must have so shown some, um, you know, signs of, you know, some. The parents should have held him back. Allowing that child, he could even fall from there. Mm. Through, like, no, those parents are going to. I, I don't think this is. I don't That's think this is serious one yes serious one of course so he's going to pay for it they are, they are going to pay for it no but, but but i but i think that child has a medical condition he probably has a spectrum disorder mm. i don't think he has any medical no condition. it's possible I think he's just spoiled no 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 it, it, so it, you can't be that spoiled to that extent <laughs> oh you so can children uh -huh. are really spoiled you, can. you know their parents believe in spoiled uh -huh. rod and spared it. but the same bible says the rod of correction drives uh -huh. foolishness away so we need to apply the rod of correction <laughs> sometimes because i don't understand how a child the child i gave birth to can throw this type of tantrum no you will receive well, I like I, when the, what I thought when I saw it was okay. This child, because I've seen autistic children, and autism can be very overwhelming sometimes. So yeah, this child might have um, a disorder, but even at that, before he got to this point, and children like that would usually have carers. Most of from the video, he was with his parents. So before he got to this point, they were there and then they saw what was going on. So they could actually have held him back or something. But allowing him get to that point where, how did he climb that place? The truth is that... How did this, he start knocking those things this down? This is not the first time this child is doing this. 
clearly. Mm. It can't be the first time. Because if it's the first time, why would he climb that far? And why would they target that? bad parenting? That was what I didn't understand. When because I that's the only... So the thing is, when kids do something, um, your first reaction is, is bad parenting. The parents didn't do their job right to get it correct. I mean, it's just something you see. If I, if I treat you bad... You don't know where I'm coming from. You don't know if I've had a bad day or if something had happened. Mm -hmm. You judge me based on how mm -hmm. I just treated you. Yeah. It's probably when you sit me down and we have conversations. I'll tell you, oh, I had a bad day. Then you start thinking about it from that angle. Mm -hmm. But once you see something like this, the first thing that comes to anybody's mind is their parents did not train him well. Because this child doesn't have a mind of his own yet. He's still a child. He's no, this boy is well above 10. He's probably Still. 12. He has a mind. That's why I'm saying that I completely agree that he has a spectrum disorder because that is not his. He's a, he's a preteen. He's probably 12. <laughs> he's not a young. <laughs> so. People who don't want to see and me. Happened in Nigeria, <laughs> I mean, because. <laughs> see, you know, you, know, you know how God understands who you are. <laughs> and then he. And he just gives me. Children that can't. You know, because you know people you. say it. I have boys, I don't have a female child, right? Yeah. And people say, that, how are you? I say, see, my children, no. And the thing is, they don't be able to, it's, not a, it's not a conversation that we've even had. Yeah. But you just, just know. know. <laughs> they know better. That in this world that I have come, <laughs> even to write with pencil on, on the wall, wall, they didn't do that yeah. as children. Yeah. So, so I'm saying that the only way my brain can process this mm. is that this child must have a disorder. Do you understand? Because I cannot understand that you are normal. And you act like this. <laughs> One of us will go jail. <laughs> <laughs> Nami, what's your story? <laughs> oh my God. Well, my story is quite an interesting one because David Doe has finally come out mm. to say, yes, he's married. I mean, we knew, mm -hmm. right? But then it was just speculations here and there because there was no official release that, okay, he got married or not. But now, in, an interview, in a recent interview we had with um, Kiki, has come out to say that he actually got married. And me, yeah, I'm very happy that he actually got married to Chioma for several reasons. I mean, fine, first of all, it might come off as like a compensation considering that she just lost the child. Mm. But then again, I mean, I think they're just a good match. Me, I'm not happy. I don't understand why. <laughs> because my don't number mind. one, my number one mind. is married to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but it's oh, okay. Please, I wish you I'm please. just, I'm just really happy, and I'm sure that a lot of people are actually happy about this. Choma, anywhere you see Chinelo, <laughs> <laughs> don't be fooled, Raga. <laughs> <laughs> don't be fooled, though. <laughs> yes. But I'm happy for them again yeah. because you know they lost when they lost their son. Oh, there were just really too sad. many things that happened. They, and I am glad that they actually took a break. Uh, yeah, you know, they just went quiet. I don't. Nobody saw this marriage. No, uh, no. it was just very hidden. Just speculations all over the place. You know, yeah. So I, I'm happy that you know finally. You know, I'm, I'm just hoping that um, they heal from all the pain and okay. everything. Yeah. And again, if the video can control himself, you know, because... So that what people will not post and stand in their gary. Yeah, because, you know, you see the thing is, it's not about marrying. Look at where Anidibia is. So it's almost, oh, she was the one that eventually won because now she ain't married. But look at the stories that, you know, it's, so, so it's beyond just the marriage. I mean, love her enough to respect her, to be faithful to her. That's all I'm going to ask the video. Biko. That's why I'm very quiet. Abio. <laughs> 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 okay, so my ESCC arranges X A B U V C Bossa for money laundering. So the former vice chancellor of Amadebele University, Zaria, Professor Ibrahim Gaba and Ibrahim Shehu Usman, a former bossa of the same university, have been arraigned on a nine counts charge bordering on fraud. Hmm. So I think they laundered a tune of um, over one billion what? naira. What? One billion. <sighs> it looks like EFC have been catching a lot of people these days. It's not yeah. only just catching. In the educational sector. The, education yeah. yeah. the story, I, jam, took, right? yes, the, the story yeah. I took was jam. It was jam. Huh. Five billion, I think. That was it, the yeah. one I took. Him and his children. Mm. <laughs> And today now we're doing VC of uh, oh my <laughs> God. God. the way these people steal money, they don't even steal it in small quantities. No, no, no. It's always and, and that's because you see, that's what I was saying to you that education is so like you know, people like turn a blind eye. Mm. There's a lot of money mm. in that sector. That you see, all these strikes and everything. If we even just decide that we want to block the leakage mm. in the educational sector, 
it will be enough to pay so we will not be going on all these strikes that we're seeing yes. yeah. so, but really because feel. nobody is paying attention nobody's checking oh, is it some of them uh -uh. Huh. five billion here in family now today it says how much one billion, one billion. One billion. Huh. why it is well Maybe. so my son is actually black china's um um, what's it called? Re saying that she had taken off the um, silicon and everything. And again, I think it's coming off of the back that she gave her life to Christ. Uh -huh. And she's now a born again child of God. She went to get her baptism done. And, you know, and she's now flaunt flaunting her natural, natural car. Curves, she doesn't look right? bad. And, you know, the funny thing is she's so petite yes. and so cute. cute. And, you know, and all of that. So, I mean, that's why for me, you know, I didn't even see this story coming when I said we should just discuss because what really informed the discussion around BBL was more of the death. It just occurred to me that why are people just dying for nothing? Who are you trying to impress, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, so I'm happy for her as she, I mean, she's, I, you need to get to that level of self-love, right? Confidence, you know, you must love yourself enough to say, you know what, because these things are not healthy. Mm -hmm. I remember, you know what, maybe we should take a break because we'll come back from the break because that's our conversation for today. We'll discuss more on this because now na then Kardashian and I start this madness. Uh, no. Stay, and then they don't go back to Lebanon. Exactly. This is well with us. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back.